just witnessed there was someone taking, I don't know if it was their character or if it was someone else's character. I highly doubt it's their character, um, because I don't know why they'd whitewash their own character. Um, but they took some character, whitewashed them, and used the character's original skin color as shading. Um, apparently, she, after she, they, him, whoever, um, after they were getting called out for this, they claimed it was a joke. I have no idea if, um, it really is or not, because it could be, but, um, I'm not, I'm not sure. They could be saying that just because, um, they got backlash for doing it, but maybe it could be a joke. I'm hoping it's a joke. I, I feel like it is, but, you know, y y you never know. It's, it's TikTok. TikTok, the wonderful place where... Anything can really happen. I mean, the Queen Cheryl thing. Uh, the entire background of this entire video is going to be me animating a two-second scene in Puppet Episode 5. And it takes so long because, one, I'm not speeding it up. The whole entire recording is one hour. It takes me one hour to animate this two-second scene. Anyway, back to what this video is about. So, there's a whole thing on TikTok called art lore. If you're not familiar to what this is, either because you're not an artist or you just you just aren't part of that area in TikTok, it's normally when an artist is doing something, it could really be anything bad, um, and it gets to the point where everyone's making fun of them, always mocking them in different videos. That's at least the description I can give. Today in this video, we're going to be talking about a bunch of different creators or videos, at least the ones that I know, that have gone on to the art lore of TikTok and why some of them are really stupid and why some of them art lore just shouldn't be a thing in general and this should really stop. It's so, it's so annoying. Let's start off with a super famous, super duper big artist who is getting a lot of backlash. Um, for drawing Kea, their art style or whatever. Um, you may or may not have heard about it. Um, I'm not into Genshin anymore, but this is all over my For You page. And God is annoying. First off, you go to her page. Immediately, you're going to see um, a picture of Kea, but colored. I don't know why she'll color it on there, but she can't color it on her animations you just gotta use the the bucket tool man that's all you gotta do the bucket tool it's not that hard and she's trying to say that it's her art style how are you gonna put so much detail into, and coloring into these outfits the hair the eyes like have you seen the eyes but yet you can't just use the bucket tool to color the skin and everyone's trying to defend her, going, Guys, shes it's clearly an art style. The skin color's not transparent. She has multiple videos proving that it's transparent. Let me show you this video. Let me show you this video that proves that he's transparent. Cece, editing Cece, go. poorly edit it how it would actually look like if he was transparent you would see the yellow in the background but you clearly don't meaning it's not transparent she's going out of her way to make the skin color white and i don't see the point of doing that especially because you can see in these pictures he's colored so i don't know why she feels the need to whitewash him it's probably because she wants attention and views and technically that's what i'm giving her but I think this just needs to be pointed out because so many people still think that she's not whitewashing him and his skin's actually transparent. As for how she made that little that little guy move behind her, let me show you. It's very simple. Okay, so you get the background, right? You get the background, and then on another layer, like the top layer, you have you have your little your little your little guy, your little happy ha ha guy. I had to move him up a bit so like the background 
would actually show so you could see like the background would show um and then on a layer right above the background one uh you color it white just pure white because that's what that's what she does um and i also proved that i colored it white because i take off the the background layer and show the background like completely like black so you can see the white yeah you see you see the white so it's there and then right in the middle layer you draw your other little tiny ha ha guy look at look at the little guy all right and oh my god oh my god it goes through it looks as if it's transparent but obviously it's not because then the green in the background would show it's not that hard to figure out that she is just literally coloring the skin white and she's probably doing it just to annoy people on person on purpose what annoys me is not really the fact that she's doing this i mean it annoys me of course but what annoys me the most is so many people defending her and so many people like completely ignoring it there will be videos of full-on proof of all of this thing what i just proved to you guys has already been proven yet people will still go now now it's just an art style it's transparent i don't know what you're talking about like i at this point why bother even showing it because people are not gonna listen they they don't use their brains it's not that hard to use your brain and figure out oh if if kaya kaya however you pronounce it if he was transparent that background part of that colored background would show on his forehead but obviously it's not meaning it's not transparent it's not that hard to figure out you don't have to be einstein now let's talk about another art lore thing that you may or may not have known um play the clip If for whatever reason you didn't catch on what's the problem, the problem is, th one, they said they haven't been able to draw chubby characters because they had a chubby friend who is really toxic. Um, that, that does not mean that, um, represents the entire chubby people community. That should not be a reason why you wouldn't draw chubby characters, it's just representation. Um, two, they're their progress or whatever with um drawing chubby characters wasn't chubby they made them like a few inches wider it's not chubby and there's so many people making videos mocking it like taking peter griffin and then drawing him into a stick man going my progress with drawing chubby people and i get it um i hear a lot of things um about that person saying um that they like people trying to defend going like they were asking for criticism for like to draw chubby people they're beginner artists they need help um but never once did they ever say that they don't have that in their description or anything um and they made a comment they made a comment going like guys if you're supporting me thank you all of these haters like my friend was really toxic i have an excuse to not draw chubby people it 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 brings back my trauma unless it was something actually like very problematic like suicide or whatever i don't know why you would want to draw that but if you had trauma with that and you didn't feel like you could draw that because of that trauma that's understandable but not being able to just draw a simple representation because one toxic friend you had was chubby even though that does not represent the rest of the community i think it's a sloppy excuse for them to just there's not even a word for this um it's just it's it's a terrible excuse to not draw chubby people if you choose to not draw chubby people that's whatever i don't draw chubby people often but i don't make an excuse to why i don't draw chubby people i don't say anything like that the reason i don't draw chubby people 
often, because I still do. The reason I don't do it often is just because it's easier for me to draw my normal body type style and my art style. Um, I've been trying to learn how to draw chubby characters. Here's some pictures. I've been learning, and I've been trying. Um, at least when I'm drawing chubby people, I make them actually look chubby. <laughs> now this next one, and then we're going to get on to why art lore shouldn't be a thing. This next one, a lot of you probably know if you're watching this video. Um, there's also been YouTube videos about this one as, as well. So this TikToker, I don't know their name because I couldn't find their account or their actual video. Um, they posted a video like a long time ago um, showing how like their rendering process for their drawings. Um, play the clip. So me personally, I kind of think the art style is really cute. I like the art style. I don't think it's bad so at all. Um, what people had a problem with was that the eyes were like taught, uh, not in the right placement as like an actual anatomy anatomy drawing would be. Um, it's up higher. It's just an art style. With this, uh, obviously with a K, a person, that, that was unexcusable. This one, it's literally an art style. They put their eyes higher. There's nothing wrong with that. If you don't like the art style, you could scroll. You could don't have to comment anything. You don't have to do anything about it. And I see these people doing, fixing, fixing their drawing, fixing this art style. You have no right to be fixing someone else's art. It is their art. You don't have a right to fix it. The, their art style is just unique and it's different because it doesn't completely follow anatomy rules. That's fine. It doesn't have to. So the fact that there would be people trying to fix it or leave comments about how they don't like it, nobody cares. Scroll, go away, watch another video. No one's telling you to stay here and comment or to fix this art. It's beautiful just how it was and the fact that these people were doing all of this. It's mind boggling. Um, thank you to those who were defending them because they really didn't deserve any of the hate they got. Um, their art style was cute. It was unique. It was good. Whoa, my power went out for a second. <laughs> Maybe in another video, I'll talk about AI art, because I know that's a very controversial topic right now. But anyway, let's get to what this video is really all about. Art lore and why it should not be a thing. I know that I can't control people, obviously, and I can't just tell them, Hey guys, stop doing problematic things with your art. Obviously, I can't tell them that. Well, I could, but that doesn't mean they're gonna do anything about it. Also, I'm not a big YouTuber anyway, so I don't think I'll have much of an effect to the whole art lore thing, but I'd like to get my opinion out there and talk about it. Art lore really shouldn't be a thing because it's giving a lot of bad representation onto the entire art community. There's so many artists who make amazing art pieces and they're not problematic yet the problematic artists are what's becoming the representation for the rest of the community because this whole art lore thing is blowing them up meaning people are going to have bad impressions of us plus the people who are always commenting on these kind of videos going oh i got into the original art lore video or oh new new video for art lore you're just giving them more attention which is making them want to do it more you're going to give them bad attention it's best to not give them any attention at all and yes i know that this video is technically giving attention to those artists but this ha this message has to be said and i just needed to give you guys some examples of some artists who are problematic or just on the art lore for no reason some people are using this whole art lore thing um, without, like, any actual problematic thing that they're doing. 
these artists could probably just have a different art style or a different way of coloring things or drawing things and people will be so upset that it's not perfect realistic or anatomy correct that they'll say it's part of the art lore now and they'll make fun of it they'll fix their art they'll constantly make videos making fun of their art style but it's it's stupid and it's useless if you don't like it scroll away making it into a whole art lore thing and making it a whole negative negative thing if you don't like the art again scroll away and if these artists are asking for criticism then just give them helpful tips it's not that hard only if they're asking for criticism because if not then just scroll away if you don't like it but if they're asking for criticism then just give them helpful tips going like hey you could maybe move this lower you could you could draw it this way you could probably do this so it can help out with your art and most of the people who are doing this too aren't even artists i just have to let that be known because as an artist when i'm seeing these things it's never came as a big deal unless they're problematic and you know whitewashing characters and stuff if they're just a person with a different art style as i'm watching it i'm like oh okay cool you know maybe like it maybe scroll if i don't care whatever i'm not gonna sit there if i don't like the art style and comment about it i'm not gonna stay there and say hey i don't like your art i think i'm gonna fix this for you Probably because I don't have much to talk because my art style isn't, like, the best. Um, it's not a desired art style that I don't think anyone would really want, but I still, still, I don't do this to people because I'm not that pathetic. If you're not an artist and you're doing this, even if you are an artist, but if you're not an artist and you're doing things like this, it's so pathetic. Why? Why would you waste your time like that? Like, nobody cares about your opinion. Um, like, they didn't ask. And if they did ask, then maybe that makes the situation different. But they never ask. They're probably either a beginner artist or just an artist trying to have fun drawing whatever they want. And who are you to tell them that what they're drawing or their art style isn't right? Because it isn't up to your standards. Maybe you try drawing, and then you can talk. The whole art lore thing is just a complete mess, but it is just a trend thing on TikTok, and you know, it's TikTok. So, is that really surprising that it's a chaotic mess? I don't think so. It, TikTok always has something crazy going on. Like... What do we want more than anything right now? TikTok, honestly, you should never be surprised for what's on there at this point because everything is just a big old chaotic mess. Take them as an example, or the vegan teacher. Mm. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, like, you know, my whole opinion and everything. Um, how do you guys feel about this? Comment down below. Um, as long as you're being respectful because, you know, people have different opinions, so don't be hateful if someone has a different opinion than you. Unless their opinion was, like, actually problematic. If you're new here and you like this video, maybe you'll like my other videos and I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe because YouTube doesn't like to recommend small YouTubers like me, so it's a lot harder to get a fan base. I plan to do more commentary videos like this, but I also do a lot of gameplays and obviously animations. I'm trying to recreate my own series with my friends all as voice actors for them. I've been doing this project ever since I was about 10 to 11. It's been a childhood dream of mine. And I hope to get episode 5 of my series Puppet done by this Christmas. So subscribe, like that like button, and comment down below either on this video or any other my videos. I'm a very interactive person, so I will more than likely, you know, see your comment and respond. I check the comments often. Anyways, have a great day, my little animals.